everybody. Minot, North Dakota. Got to my customer's location here first thing in the morning. And uh, they're going to guide me to where they want to unload. Apparently it's just a couple of miles from their location here. So I'm just waiting for him to come around in his pickup truck and uh, lead the way. And we'll get these things unloaded. My Fargo reload got uh, switched around on me. I'm not going to Fargo now to reload. I'm actually going to Winkler back in Manitoba. I'm gonna load something there and then take it to the Steinbeck area and then go home. So a little less miles today. It means I get to be home a little bit sooner. Also make a little bit less money, but that's trucking, right? Let's just go with the theme of the week. <laughs> theme of the week is it's just trucking of course things go wrong of course things don't go as planned it's trucking I forgot to put my glasses on too I'm wondering why my eyes aren't that bad that's why I don't notice it right away it's in the morning sometimes I uh, don't realize Also, I'm looking around I'm like why is everything not in perfect HD ah there we go there we go that's the stuff High definition again, 4K. Here's my guy right in front of me. Shouldn't take too long to get these trailers off my, my trailer. Kind of curious though how they're going to do it. These are some big bale trailers on my on my trailer. I'm thinking they're probably gonna take like a front end loader or something, one on each side. They're gonna lift one up and then I'll drive out from underneath it.
myself out here and uh, see what they want next. So I've gotten my flags off the load. Now I've got to get all my equipment off the load. And in a little bit, they're going to have, I think, two front end loaders come here and grab one from each side. And then they'll grab the top one first. And I'll move forward and they'll place it down and then we'll unload the second one the same way. I got one off and I got one left. Now they're going to come and uh, lift up the next one together. We wait in here once they've got a hold of it and then they're gonna tell us when to move forward. They have to grab it just perfectly so that it balances and so that when they pick it up that it doesn't like fall backwards or even worse fall forwards into my truck. I'll give you my view. Let's go forward. Slowly start rolling forward, not too fast, because just in case if something's going to catch or something goes wrong and he tells me to stop, i got to be able to stop real quick. There they go. Lowering it down. And this box is theirs here. I'll just move this over to the edge for them. There we go. Now we've got to put away our straps, which I just put here for now. And organize this. It's a little bit unorganized. They bounce around in here when you're bouncing down the highway. Well, let's go. We're empty. center of Canada from east to west. This is the actual like center of the entire continent. Right in the middle. That's kind of neat. You can't get any more inland than that. In 500 meters, turn left on 1st Street West, ND3. This would be my kind of town, because I don't like the ocean. I really don't like the ocean. Everything in the ocean wants to kill you, including the ocean itself. 
Look at this house on the left. That's awesome. That'd be so neat to own that. In 200 meters, turn left on. First straight west, ND3. As you can see, my trailer's empty, and uh, my load sort of fell through this afternoon. I was supposed to pick it up in Fargo, and that didn't work out. 
and then I was supposed to pick up that same load in Winkler and then when I got there uh, that one didn't work out either <laughs> so the good news is the week is over <laughs> it's a bad week they're not all good but at least we don't got any snow down here right the weather is 15 degrees Celsius right now it's actually pretty nice considering where I've been this week I'm I'll take it I'm gonna drop this flatbed here grab my tarps throw them on the back of the catwalk here and head to my shop uh, Monday this truck is going in for a full service and uh, I'll look over make sure that I didn't miss anything on it I really like it that they do that there I want them to check everything out and if there's any problems however small it is I'd like they always let me know and then we go from there. Do I want to get them fixed right away? Is it something I can do in a little while? Is it something that matters? Is it something that doesn't matter? We make that decision then. It's not like they'll go and start doing work I didn't ask them to do without talking to me first, right? It's a, it's a great shop. So that's that. Let's get rid of this trailer. Let's go home. Next week's another week. I'm sure it'll be better than this one. Doesn't take much to get better than this week. Old Blue definitely needs a bath though. I'd really like to at least give her a rinse and a wipe down before I take it to the shop. I hate bringing the shop a dirty truck. I like the truck to be clean, especially on the inside so that when the mechanics climb in there that they have a clean truck to get into and clean on the outside so that they don't have to work on a dirty truck and you know, dig through all the dirt to get to what they're trying to work on. I like, and I think they would appreciate that. I know I would. Here's something to get the comment section going though. What do you guys think about Elon Musk buying Twitter? <laughs> Let me know down below. <laughs> I'm getting out my popcorn because this is getting funny. Ah, comedy is back. I don't really use Twitter much, but there's a reason for that. Maybe now I'll use it a little more. I'm actually quite all right with getting rid of this trailer. This is one of our, uh, the brand is called Manic, I believe. It's the older trailers that we have, the older models. And uh, they're not as good as the uh, the other ones. Those are what, what's the brand name of those again? Fontaine? Something? Uh, we have two different kinds. This is definitely not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. At least this one has sliding winches. I haven't seen them. Maybe we sold them all. I haven't seen them in the yard in years now that I think about it. We used to have these flatbeds where the winches were welded to the trailer and you couldn't slide them. Oh. Hate those trailers. I take my tarps with me just like this. Oh, not just like this. I, I use my two inch strap there and uh, hook it onto the frame on this side and that side and ratchet it down. And then uh, they stay there. These things always come with the truck. Wherever, wherever the truck goes, those go. You saw even on that van delivery I did up north, that disaster of a load. No, disaster, the load was fine. This is the weather, whatever. It was a bad trip. Even those came with me then. I put them in the van trailer. Speaking of, that van trailer is right here, isn't it? 516, no, this is 544. 516, where did I leave it? I don't even care. I don't, I don't want to see that trailer again for a while. <laughs> I'm home for a few days now, till next Tuesday afternoon at least. Got a, a prenatal appointment for Brit that I want to be there for on Tuesday afternoon. Monday, like I said, Old Blue's going into the shop, and we'll see if it gets done on Monday, depending if they find anything else that needs to be done, and if they gotta order parts for it, or... We'll see, should be good. See, I just hooked this, like, this two-inch strap goes over those there. This, I hook into the frame on the other side. Just like that, and it just sort of sits there. And we go back around. I try to do uh, my services on the truck, on the 
the beginning of the month, the first week of the month. That way, I'm taking a few days off now, right? Like Saturday, Sunday is obviously the weekend. Uh, and then I'm also taking on off uh, November 1st and half November 2nd. But that way, I'm only taking off a day and a half out of November and a day or two out of October. Sort of, you can take more days off that way. A few come out of one month and a few come out of the other month because I get paid by the month, right? So all of my work done in October is all on one pay period. That way I can stay home a little longer and it doesn't all hit me on one pay period. That makes sense? Okay, let's uh, see if I can get this going here. Okay, so we pull it tight, untwist it. Make sure you don't sack yourself with the uh, hook. That was a close one. Pay attention, Josh. Pay attention. You need those. Hmm. Pull it through the top like that, and then... Now, until it starts to get tight. And then, I fold this up. Like this. Like that. This. Can you see from over there? Thank you over here. Water over here. Okay, and then this, you put right into there, like that, on the top, you want to suck it in there, and that'll hold all that extra strap for you. See how it's getting sucked in there? Just like that. And once you feel it's tight enough, you take the rest of this here, feed it through this, and down, you close this up, like so, and boom, you got it there nice and neat, holding it down, those aren't going anywhere. done. I wouldn't say it was a good week, but you got me through it and you didn't let me down. So thank you. Next week will be better. So it's Friday. Tomorrow uh, we were invited out for dinner out in Morden. We're going to go out there, uh, hang out there for a little bit. Sunday, I think I'm going to come here to the shop and uh, wash the truck. So it's clean to go to the shop on Monday. I think I'll probably drop it off at the shop as early as I can so they can get to it. Full service coming your way, Old Blue. You're welcome. You deserve it. You've been working hard. And you put up with a lot up north there. Highway 280. I am so sorry. I am so sorry about that. I will not take you on that highway again if I can help it. That was uh, my bad, my bad. I had no idea. Now I know. All right, everybody. I gotta go home. I'm gonna enjoy the evening. Tomorrow's, uh, I think it's, is it for lunch or for supper? Probably for like supper or something. Cause I think we gotta be there in the afternoon. It's Britt's mom and her boyfriend. Oh, we're going to go see them out in Morden. Looking forward to it, actually. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come on.
Pepsi right here. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, old blue. I'll see you Sunday. How's that sound? Right on. This is what I came home to. Pizza delivered straight to me. Except she's eating it. She's eating my pizza. I couldn't put the plate down. <laughs> I've been thinking about this since 3.30 a.m. I had insomnia and I woke up and I had to go to my old workplace out of town to get this. No regrets. Pregnant cravings. Mm -hmm. They're just cravings for me. <laughs> Soon to be cravings. Okay, let's let's let the boys in here. Oh boy. Okay, well. Hey guys. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. Hey little guys. Frank. Shelby, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I missed you too, bud. Oh, I missed you too. I know. I was stuck up north. Oh, oh boy. What else happened? Tell me more. What happened? Yeah? And then what? Really? No way. Oh my. What an exciting week. Wow. And then what did Diesel do?